Hello, Galaxy! I'm Chris Perillo, and you're watching the Locker Gnome Daily Report, or TLDR for short. I have been sipping my unboxing juice. That's important because I've already unboxed my Samsung Galaxy Tab S7 Plus, and it takes some unboxing juice to get through that without stumbling. Uh, yesterday, I talked about the things that I love about this device, and today I thought I'd talk about the things that I don't like, or possibly hate, about the Samsung Galaxy Tab S7 Plus. Did I say that right? Maybe I need another sip. Give me a second. Mm. Okay, doesn't matter what I said. Uh, I'm going to tell you, even though there are many things that I do not like about this device, I still intend on replacing my current-gen iPad Pro 11-inch, the brand-new one, uh, with this very tablet. Because despite its shortcomings, uh, it's still, by and large, a better experience. So, let's go ahead and begin. I've got a laundry list here. Uh, with the first thing I don't like. Uh, you can't set default behaviors in tablet mode for apps. Because remember, Samsung has two modes. They have Dex and tablet mode, which is great. But the problem is, is that sometimes I want apps to always open up in window rather than in tablet mode. Uh, there's no real way of getting around this apart from using good lock, free software, from the Samsung Store that allows you to resize uh, an application into a windowed version of it, and you can still run those windowed versions above the tablet versions of any given app, but there's no way of setting default behaviors. That's something I feel Samsung could and or should do with the non-DEX mode because it gets a little tedious uh, with having to resize things constantly or go into the task switcher, uh, long press and hold and drag to the middle to open up in a windowed version. Uh, I realize it's a small snag, but still, this is something that I dislike. Uh, another thing that I don't like, Android apps, in uh, correlation to the first complaint, uh, aren't always ready for this experience, as in the large screen tablet experience on the Samsung Galaxy Tab S7 Plus. Now, I do believe that this could very well change when foldable devices become a bit more popular uh, because Android is uh, transmogrifying itself or really being developed to optimize apps for larger screens. Uh, so tablet support may come in tow with foldable optimization, but right now there's still somewhat of an issue. Uh, a little uh, an aside here, if you will. Uh, the Android apps on the tablet work better than iPhone apps work on the iPad. FYI. Not a complaint, just something to note. Uh, I feel uh, that this keyboard accessory is kind of flimsy, uh, ch cheap, but expensive. So cheap feeling, cheap working, not perfect, and pricey. So that's a bad combination. Let me, oh wait, I gotta have the tablet in the middle in order for these things to attach to one another. I mean, I guess the good thing is uh, the S Pen does have that pocket, as I mentioned, but it slipped out uh, when I was uh, maneuvering. Uh, I just feel like this material is not going to stand the test of time. That's a concern. Uh, the keyboard doesn't attach uh, tightly at all. It's very often misaligned. Is it worth the money I paid? Probably not, but I haven't found a good third-party accessory for this. Uh, and hoping they improve that with future iterations of the tablet, assuming they're going to continue, given that Samsung's pretty much the only manufacturer that is taking uh, Android tablets uh, seriously. Uh, another thing that, I guess this is a minor complaint that I was able to mitigate, um, the, the USB connector here, though USB-C, which is great, uh, is on the wrong side for the way that I would sometimes use it, or was used to using it, uh, or... I should say, used to using a USB-C connection on a tablet device, um, I had to rework wiring to pull a, a USB cable, a Thunderbolt cable to be exact, uh, through or underneath my desk in order to connect it the way that I was uh, using it in this environment. It would have been nicer to have a USB on the other side. Maybe the future uh, uh, keyboard will allow me to charge that way, I, you know, on the other side, or that way I'd be able to, to connect in either side. Either way, that was a complaint that I had, a, a, a minor concern, but still something that I, I did not happen to like. Another thing that I really don't like, there's no 5G on this tablet. Now again, I've mentioned this in a, a previous video, 
Uh, there is a 5G model available, but it's only available through carriers, and it's the 128 gig model, and it, it, you know, it doesn't have as many colors the way that I was, uh, you know, wanting the, the, the tablet, uh, or at least it, it, the options that I wanted, the, the, they weren't available, the colors, the specs, because only 128 gig version is available in the 5G model right now. And I'm like, I wanted the 256 because it comes with eight gigs of RAM. That's another complaint I have. This needs more than eight gigs of RAM. 12 minimum. Doesn't have that option right now. Doesn't have that option potentially forever. The S7 Plus. Uh, it needs potentially 12 or 16 gigs of RAM. That I would consider a bare minimum. So if you're basically running a, a tab on anything less than eight gigs of RAM, more power to ya. I don't think I could do it because eight is not sufficient for this thing. Uh, another thing that's a concern of mine is that, you know, despite this being an awesome keyboard, even when it is upside down, because that's how I prefer to use my keyboards, who doesn't? Um, though you can disable the trackpad, you cannot remap the keys. This is something that Chrome OS does. Uh, well, I should say, you can remac, uh, remac? Ha <laughs> ha! Max, Chrome OS, Android, I'm talking about all the OSs here. Uh, are you watching me in some kind of window? The, uh, uh, the, the keys here, like the, the control and alt, can't be shifted. And I'm used to using the command key on Mac OS and control key on Windows. And, and I wish I just, could just remap things. And I can't. And this is something that Samsung absolutely can control. And the fact that they don't allow you to modify the, 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 those keys and or remap keyboard shortcuts or potentially create new ones is kind of a little baffling. They really need to flesh that out in a big way. Uh, another thing that does concern me about this device, it is a Samsung device, and I wish that Samsung would just kind of ease off the pedal of like hitting you with all the Samsunginess. I love what Samsung's doing with Android. I really do. The modifications that Samsung has been making with Android are very reasonable, very cogent. I mentioned that Dex is a boon, still needs fleshed out, absolutely not perfect, which I guess is something that I hate. I wish that it was better. Good thing to hate, I guess. Uh, the, uh, uh, the problem that uh, I have is that it's too samsung -y. And they need to ease off. I don't need a phone app. I don't need the messages app. I don't need the Samsung this, that, and the other thing. I just need it to be it and Samsung to produce this thing. And I found that it's easier to navigate around Samsung's Samsunginess on the, the Tab S7 Plus more so than it is to navigate around it on a Galaxy Ultra S21 Plus 5G Pro Premium Platinum, which I've been using clearly for several months well clearly here i've been using uh i don't need i have both of them i don't have them interconnected i don't want them interconnected i don't need them interconnected uh or at least i haven't found a benefit for my particular use cases uh there are certain customizations that i make using good lock admittedly a third party kind of first party uh, application uh for customizing samsung devices uh, some of those uh, uh, customizations don't stick on reboot. Moreover, the customizations I make on tablet mode don't port over to dex mode. So, like I said, there's still some degree of unpolishedness uh, with the Tab S7 Plus that it, it kind of throws me off. Uh, notifications on dex don't swipe away properly. There's some animation jank. Uh, Samsung does some animation work that isn't cohesive it's annoying and i wish samsung would pay attention to it again major complaint uh so another complaint that i have about this device and really i'd say every android device device but it's really pronounced on the tab s7 plus chrome is still janky chrome edge uh, uh brave which is my default browser really janky janktacular and i i I wish it wasn't. Maybe I need to switch to, to Samsung's internet browser on here to see if it's less janky. Um, I, I don't know. Maybe that's that's a thought. I, I guess I, I hadn't even considered that. Not really something I want to do. I like using Brave. I can use Brave, but eh, eh, what are you going to do? What am I going to do? I'm going to keep using this. I'm going to keep doing videos on this and other devices and other things that I'm talking about live on Twitch every night at 6 p.m. Feel free to join me next time. Uh, that's where I was actually streaming this video recorded live. The link is in the video description.